Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how hackers clone websites and how easy it is with just free tools you can download from the internet. So I have installed Linux Kali on my machine. It's a virtual machine. You can go ahead and just go to Google and type Kali download. And then you can get <coughs> numerous different kind of options, way to download Linux Kali for either virtual machine or containers, cloud, um, mobile, even mobile. You can even run Linux Kali on a Raspberry Pi if you want to do that. So I have a login page here. It's just a typical login page I'm running on any, you know, just in something called TryHackMe, uh, which I have been done a lot on, a lot of different rooms on before. So what we're basically gonna do is to go ahead and open a, a, a terminal and type in set toolkit. The set toolkit is called social engineering toolkit, which is a toolkit that is really easy for you to use if you are uh, anyone basically, but a hacker of course. So I'm gonna run it. And this is the newest version. It's the, uh, they got some ASCII arts, it's very beautiful. Anyways, what we're gonna do here is say, what we're gonna do is either a social engineering attack, a pen test attack, whatever. We're gonna do something called a social engineering attack. So I'm gonna pick number one. And <clears throat> now we're gonna say, I wanna do a website attack vector. So I'm gonna pick number two. And what we're gonna do here is something called credential harvesting attack. So the type of attack we're doing right now is something you will do in a phishing email. You will paste a link, the victim will click the link, get to a page presented with something that looks very professional, like a clone of any web page that we're going to do right now. I'm gonna clone this login form here, very, very easy, you can see it. So basically I'm gonna pick number three and it's gonna be a site cloner, so I'm gonna pick number two. And now it's gonna ask for the IP address for the post back. And um, it chooses this one, so I'm just gonna uh, press enter. And now the site to clone, so I'm gonna pick this, paste it in, and press enter. And now it, it's it's working, it's gonna take a little while, it says. So until then, let's just chill for a moment and look at the stars. Oh, ceiling. Anyways. So the site cloner is working, and it's cloning the site. And just in a moment, we will be sent it with a URL that we can uh, open in the browser and it will look exactly like this. So let's go ahead and visit the IP address of 127.0.0.1. Now what you see here is, isn't that the same site you just saw before? Let's, let's have a look at it. Yes. Okay, the slight thing here, you know, with, with the icon. Anyways, Maybe it's just, who knows why. Anyways, we just cloned a web page. So what I'm gonna do now is go back to the terminal and see that, oh, I'm having access. So you can send, this is running of course on my own machine. So it's the local, so I can also type localhost, I assume. And what you could do here now is say, you're gonna send this as a link in an email, you know, so you're gonna create some virtual host somewhere and you're gonna put the IP address. And then you're gonna send that and say, oh, so I'm gonna log in now. So my login is uh, Brian and my password is uh, whatever. I'm gonna click log on. Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Oh, what the but Okay, so let's go back here again. So we got some, um, Look at this, we got a hit. So I can sit behind the screen and fetch possible username, Brian, possible password, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is how the hackers are cloning websites. Of course, there are many different ways you can do it, but this is the easiest way you can do it. A few clicks, a child can do it. Please be aware that phishing emails are very serious and this is how easy it is to clone a website. We just cloned a website, took all the credentials, and basically 
we got redirected back, look at this, we're in the same tab, to the original page. So the Cyclone is clever enough to say, oh, so we're just going to redirect you back to the original page. We already have your credentials. We don't really care anymore. But eh, let the user log in. We own your account now. We're going to hack the rest of the accounts. This is how it is. So I highly suggest you to go ahead and learn more about phishing emails. I have a video on my channel about phishing emails where I talk about what phishing emails is and how you can mitigate uh, yourself out of the situation if you ever receive weird emails so i hope you liked this video subscribe to my channel link comment below link i mean click the like button below anything that is making some noise on my channel i would really appreciate it see you again